So I was out of town last week when I heard the news that David Carroll passed away. First, I want to share my condolences to his family since losing a family member is always painful. Second, I have to call out the predictable public memorials from individuals in the Black Manosphere and on Black YouTube in general. Just listen to these clips. I think the man was spot on with 90% of the stuff that he said. Listening in my truck, and I remember the very first episode I listened to was uh, him explaining how this modern day black female, many of them see themselves as our enemy, see themselves as our opponents. Hey, he was, you could say that he was actually a legend. I mean, a lot of people patterned his pattern their channel off of him basically rest in peace to michael david carroll known as the juggernaut he will be greatly missed but not forgotten criticized a lot of people he criticized martha luther king by calling him martha luther coon he was trying to say things in a way that would actually wake men up and may wake men up to the reality of the kind of black woman that you had to deal with what the truth of the matter was and if y'all was missing those rabbit holes on bit shoot yo those were off the chain off the chain uncensored those... david carroll yeah. man on bit shoot he was like anybody who and on was fsa not... yes they are calling this man a legend and intellectual juggernaut the same guy who claimed the 1915 film the birth of a nation was an accurate depiction of reconstruction as I stated in a previous video, this dude has literally been crying about black women's behavior since at least 2010 according to a blog post he published at the time. I won't say much more because this is going to be a short video. I just want to play several clips from a man considered a truth dropper and legend in black YouTube. Mind you, this dude has produced this type of content for years and some of the images I had to blur out. The black woman, the modern day black woman, is not today, nor has she ever been your woman. She's not your friend. She doesn't have your best interest at heart. Her allegiance is somewhere else. Her trust is in someone else. Her love and adoration is for someone else. And that person that she devotes all of her energy in pleasing is her slave master. That's the first thing that you have to understand. The second thing is likened to the first, and it could be under the stuff as a footnote, that is a footnote. And that is, the black female is your enemy. The reason why you black bitches lead the nation in abortions, you are aborting black men's babies. We know you are not aborting no white man's child. No way. And I've done videos on this in the rabbit hole, pointing out and outlining for y'all that the majority of these black bitches, that is what they desire, that is what they want. A mongrel, half-breed, dirty baby with green eyes and fucking good hair. Not only do I know you Negroes like the back of my hand, I know y'all's community like the back of my hand. And this is the reason why I'm going to prove in this video that that cop really didn't rape these women. It is my contention that those relationships were consensual. Why do you think they, they got so wet over scandal? Why do you think that shit turned them on so much? That's their fantasy. To be ravished by a white man. That's the reason why they had no problem with slavery. They wish they were slaves. So that they could be raped. They like that. What I've told y'all repeatedly is that this black bitch has an overpriced tag on that snatch on that rotten sewer between her fucking leg it's overpriced because that's one thing that black men do quite well is being fucking idiots they're a dumb group of men i mean I, i've said this and y'all know this they're not the sharpest knife in the drawer and they most certainly are not the brightest bulb on the fucking tree she doesn't feed her children vegetables she doesn't feed her children any kinds of fruit she feeds her feeds them garbage so we're not talking about your mother's generation. When we talk about the black female being the enemy of black men, we're talking about this modern day black bitch. 
this heifer who has nothing to bring to a relationship table other than the size of her ass. You can't talk to her. She lacks basic communication skills. You can't reason with her. She fails to understand anything that you say. What he done is he began to connect the dots. And he began to see for himself that modern day black women are the enemy of black men. I know this is hard. I know you brothers don't want to accept it. I know you brothers don't believe it. I know you brothers will not embrace this. When people hear me give my pet phrase concerning black women that the DSM needs to seriously consider labeling being a black female as a mental disorder because that's exactly what it is. And oftentimes people think that I, I say that just to be funny. I'm trying to crack a joke. But the reason why I consistently say that over and over and over again in these productions is because that's what I firmly believe. 